section and I'll tell you about Doctors Without Borders organization. Um, Doctors Without Borders is MSF for short. I will tell you about how they help, about what they do if there is an earthquake or war, and also I'll tell you the history. Um, first, I'll tell you guys about the history. Doctors Without Borders was made in 1971 in France. The group of doctor, the, the group of the France doctors and the journalists wanted to help the poor people. In 1985, the MSF spoke out against the Ethiopian government. <coughs> um, at 1990, the USA made the same MSF to help and raise the money to give it to poor people who are in danger. The MSF worked really hard and in 1999, the MSF got a prize. They got a prize by not only helping the poor, People, it is because they help a people who who are hurt or people who had a big war. Um, people said that the MSF has the right words to speak after the MSF got the prize. In 2007, MSF got 152 million dollars. <coughs> um, now I will tell you guys about how they help. Doctors Without Borders is helping people by healing the people who got hurt and donating money, food, clothes, and also making them shoulders for, pe for the people, for the poor people who are in danger. The MSF can help them because they have good doctors, um, nurses, and the volunteers who help the poor people move things from place to place. Lots of men and women wants to volunteer at Doctors Without Borders. The MSF just let them help if they, um, if they're strong, strong. The strong volunteers needed to help people move things um, place to place, place to place. Just the normal men and women um made good and big shelter for the poor people. There was a big earthquake in Colombia. The MSF helped over 80,000 people and also the MSF built a shelter again for them. Also in Haiti, there was a big earthquake. The MSF helped lots of um, people who got injured. There was two countries that had a big war and the MSF helped both countries country. They had no enemy. They just helped every army after the war stopped. Um, thank you for listening.